Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to introduce you to a fairly new game entitled The Complex. And in this game, uh, we are following the story of Dr. Amy Tennant, who is a biologist studying a pathogen that spreads uh, like a wildfire in the city of London. Uh, but before that, um, this game is uh, quite new. It was released back in March. And since we are in the coronavirus season, I think it's um, in line with the theme of MCO and RMO. For those of you who are not familiar with the abbreviations, RMO stands for Restrictive Movement Order, while uh, MCO stands for Movement Control Order. And so, in this journey, I want you to experience this um, game like a movie and as such, I won't be talking as much uh, during the playthrough so that you can enjoy the experience like uh, in a cinema. So let's start this new game and I hope you guys enjoy. So I've done a full body cleanse on both of them. Space is sterile. Did you get blood samples for Kensington's research project? Mm-hmm. Nice work, Dr. Wakefield. So another drone? Yeah. They dropped nerve agent on their apartment block. A woman was coming home from the shops. The boy was playing with a soccer ball. What, you mean a, a football? Hi, I'm Amy. You're... Dalo. Pleasure to meet you, Dalo. Are you going to hurt me? Let's go with lighthearted. I'm Team Doctor. You got injured, but I'll have you back playing football very soon. Reese, I need to administer atropine. Yeah, I, I think I had a chance to restart the vials. Supply tent now! It's okay. Tell him. It's okay. Atropine injections worked on everyone I treated in Syria. Okay? Okay. Alright, okay. you're, right. you're right. What's your name? Dima. We're not safe here. The Supreme Leader ordered this attack. We're here to help you. He's trying to kill us. Both of us are stand against him. Oh. Tell me. Will this come ruin my life? Let's be Doctor. positive to the patient. We're treating you early, so you've got a great chance of survival. I listen to liars every day. You are not a good one. Please breathe. Look at me. Breathe. Look at me. I need... I need to save my baby. The supply tent has been depleted. There's only one vial left. What are you going to do? Make a decision. So Dima or Talo? Dima is the one with the baby. Talo is the boy playing soccer. I'll go with Dima. We'll be saving a mother and a child. 
Dima, give me your arm. <laughs> Dima, please. You have to trust me. Okay, this will save you and your baby. You are with the Supreme Leader. You want to kill my baby? Oh, looks like I chose poorly. Reese, how do I save them? Reese? Five years later, in the city of London, United Kingdom. We stand on the precipice of history. I'm Dr. Amy Tennant, and I'm here on behalf of the visionary Natalie Kensington to inform you how your investments have made that possible. Firstly, we've been using your billions for the greater good. The Kensington Corporation's relationship with Kindar has flourished since the resolution of its civil war. Our teams have been working on development projects with some of the country's top scientists. Natalie has even developed an internship program for some of the country's brightest young minds. So it says here that we can check the status of um, Dr. Amy Tennant uh, at the stats window so this is the stats window so as you can see here we have Dr. Amy's uh, personality status um, among which are honesty, bravery, curiosity, intelligence and sensitivity I'm assuming this is uh, in relation to the choices that she uh, has made and will be making in the course of this game and for now uh, we have a diagram that shows uh, images of the people that she has been in contact with so the first two patients are obviously dead from the icon of the skull here and this is um, I'm not sure is or was her partner just now I think it was her partner, the male one, the male doctor um, the percentage however is uh, probably the current relationship status whereby if we reach 100% we can be very very intimate and close with that person while if we are at say zero maybe we do not interact well with them or have a bad um, repo of some sort so that's uh, the status screen of Dr. Amy Tennant in fact some of our Kindarian interns are here with us today oh hey. is Kindar still a totalitarian state human rights violations and all that shit to engage or to dismiss. Let's engage. Kindar is at peace, but your concern is understandable. May I continue my presentation? I'm just saying, it's bad PR for us to associate with Kensington if she's dealing with the dictator. Well, as you've seen, that's simply not the case. Why is there so much research happening out there? It's a fucking waste of our money and resources. Oh, so these guys are Kinder probably the is a former British colony, and we're all here trying to help her recover. Financial for seems like good philanthropic PR to me. And it's a tax haven. Go on. Well, she doesn't look good. Trembling, shaking. Now, the real reason you're here. The Kensington Complex. Our impenetrable HQ of laboratories built bespoke to Natalie's specifications by the world-renowned Parker Kaplani. Deep within the complex is Security Lab Alpha, a womb of scientific advancement. There, we have something remarkable in development. I'm sure all of your news feeds have told Sounds you that familiar, Gordon guys. Grosvenor's expedition to Mars is becoming a reality. Yes, the first person to set foot on Mars will be British if we can hurdle this final obstacle together. So this particular girl in the 
subway station. Oh, sorry, not the subway station. It's the subway itself. Hey. Subway train. Are you okay? Um, could be patient zero for yeah, this pathogen that drugs, okay? we've read about. We can't fit a hospital on a 10 ton Mars lander. How do we get around this? Nanocells. Stem cells interwoven with nanotech. Once inside a host, they migrate to the site of injury. There, they regrow bone and generate extra blood to help catalyze the healing process. Tiny magic bullets. <laughs> What's your problem? What's your problem? <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> this is of course just a mock up. Okay, the just a little heads up if you are, are a kid uh, and do not show back any complex, inappropriate sign to once anyone ready, ever. We can begin regulated human trials. Having treated victims of chemical attacks all over the world, I know that Nanocells could be miracle tech. Oh my god. Can we go patient zero, right? Amy, you're needed urgently. Hang on. I have some serious concerns about this. Likewise. Before my employer invests any more capital, she wants some answers. Amy, it really can't wait. Um, yeah, let's go. We need to get you to the car now. It's an emergency. I have to go, but please stay and enjoy the wonderful hospitality. Let's go, Emily. We need to get you on the scene immediately. The scene? What happened? It's already gone viral. Gone viral, get that? <laughs> I'm ruling out food poisoning. She has other alarming symptoms, we've been told. Naturally, everyone's crying terrorism. A suicide bomber with a malfunctioning bioweapon? We need to get her to the complex. Okay, why is this our problem? Because she's one of our interns. Oh. It's convenient. Thank God you're here. This is beyond our remit. Excellent quarantine work. I'll examine her back at the complex. Yeah, we were waiting on your word before moving her. Uh, a single person drone or grain happens. The drone will get her there faster. It but drone. it's more dangerous. If it crashes, then whatever's inside of it gets out to the public. It Resolve. won't crash, it's Kensington Infection. Tech. Use the drone, Amy. Let's go old school here, let's take the ambulance. Ground. I want eyes on her. Slow and steady, guys. This is a mistake. Trust me, I've dealt with this type of madness before. Buddies were renegades. Well, the prospect of losing a friend in a strange country. I can empathize with that. Today we need all your field experience, Amy. Time to roll back the ears. Mm -hmm. You can say that again. Hey, that's you gotta be kidding me. Uh, it's been a while, Dr. Doctor Whitfield. That we was the point well, earlier. Good vomiting ladies on my tube line. Reese Wakefield. Yeah, Dr. Wakefield. Hug. Let's walk and talk. So, which legend fed the media the anthrax rumour? I need to take this. Was it her? So, do we have a name yet? Claire Mahek, she's one of us. Inside job. Now, she must be acting alone. Why else would she take the tube? 
Well, Uber doesn't offer a getaway car. So service, the name of so. patient zero is Claire. Just keep that in mind. Look, if we consider the Claire history, it might actually be valid. Well, Tara does some... I highly doubt it. Perceptive as ever. Hey, Amy, look. I promise I didn't know you still worked here. If I did, I would have... Stayed away? Yeah, I'm sure. Look. Why are you skydiving? Or bungee jumping? Or whatever it is that you were up to? Because I'm passing through London. I checked my Twitter feed this morning, saw something I could help with. Plus, Kensington wants my expertise again. Well, she already has my expertise. I'm not disputing that, nor am I apologising for the skydiving. Guy's got to live. I know if you could come back and let me know your decisions. OK, thank you. You didn't want to run this by me? Two lifesavers are better than one. Reese Wakefield is a deserter. I know he's let us down in the past, but people change. Emily did due diligence too. Come on. Hey, uh, guys, can I just, uh, have five minutes? Just, uh, just need to use the gents. To follow Reese, Natalie, or Amy's office. Can Let's we go, the boss. please? Madam Kensington. Still hides behind bravado when the stakes are high. I fear they're higher than we know. So this is the complex. Quite a huge medical facility. Or Premier rather a research facility. You should see the other guy. Security lab Alpha. Nan, is this my tech? Yes. How? I mean, nothing leaves or enters the lab without us knowing about it. Emily and I will get to the bottom of that. You just get the nanocells, otherwise our life's work's gone. All of the nanocells are inside of her? It, it was a master batch. No duplicates were made. Good luck. Woo! Oh my god, you guys are serious about your fashion. Yeah, no more frumpy hazmat suits. Pressure suits. You'll see. All right. Let's change with uh, in the cubicle for personal reasons. Be professional, you know. So I meant this. Yeah, I knew it. Uh, boys, uh, cover your eyes. Does this feel personal? Claire? Of course. Well, she was in excruciating pain and she stumbled all the way to the tube station. Feels more emotional than just following orders. Okay, boys, you can open your eyes back. Some good looking hazmats. We're going into space. <laughs> Why is she not laughing? Something like that. Echo! This vacuum acts as the last line of defense to prevent microbes from escaping the lab. The lack of air makes it sterile as hell. Well, that's great on a microscopic level, but it could do with some physical barriers. How long have you worked here again? That's engage with the conversation in question. Four years last Wednesday. Yeah, it's been that long. Just thinking about some of the stuff we saw. I saw a whole other year's worth after you left. And it wasn't just skydiving you know, i needed a reset try new things learn anything that could help us today 
Oh, no. Man, that's some huge hallway. How many disinfection chambers do they have? Vacuum conditions inactive. Oh, sorry, this is the vacuum chamber. Readjusting the air pressure, I guess. Dr. Thomas Malkin, Dr. Emily North. This Dr. is Dr. Dr. Reese Wakefield. Dr. He'll be assisting us today. Cool pony cell. <laughs> Let me take you to her. <sighs> Feels like we're at the center of those dolls that go inside each other. Matryoshka dolls. Yeah. Russian, aren't they? So what's your story then, Malkin? I wanted to assist Dr. Tennant since I saw a talk at the plane summit about the extracellular matrix and lattice and stem cells. Yeah. Holy shit, it's attacking the bone structure. We've never seen anything like it. I have a sample of her blood under the microscope. Guys, this is my tech. The nanocells are inside her. But they're unfinished. There's no off switch, so they're just coursing through her body, producing excess bone and blood. But how could she have contracted them? From a spillage, maybe. They barely survive for two minutes once they're exposed to air, and she didn't have the authorization to access them. But someone's put them in her. <laughs> No, 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 leave it in, Claire. You need it. Oh, it feels fucking weird. You're a terrorist. That's funny. I'd be a terrible one if I was. I did this for Mina. What's Mina? A terrorist organization. Oh, you stop that, please. Look, how many times have we seen a lone wolf release pathogens into the air? Nanocells aren't airborne. They can only be transferred via blood to blood contact. Probably a good point Answer to remember. Call. Named as Claire Mahek, a Kandarian intern at Kensington. TV off. Tell me you can retrieve our nanocells. Not directly. We'd need to extract a large blood sample to keep them active. From there, I'll use that as a roadmap to recreate the master batch. Seems simple enough. She has plenty of blood to spare. Not exactly. Her new bone matter is consuming her body's resources at an accelerated rate. If I remove that much blood in one go, she'll die. And if she dies before you extract her blood? Without a living host, the nanocells will just dissipate. All of one nanocells. So either way she dies. Okay. Amy, we're gonna have to go for the option where we retain our asset. Natalie, I can't just- I'll get back to you. End call. What should we do, Doctor? Set up for a full blood diagnostic. There has to be a way to get the nanocells out of her safely. Dr. Wakefield, please replace her IV. I can't risk any outside contamination. Sure thing. Dr. Tennant. Replace this, okay? Don't bite me. Whoa! <laughs> Shit, sorry. Not rusty. Come in. And done. Don't go anywhere.
Who delivered this crate? Oh, you see a rewrite this morning? Well, it's in the way, it needs to be moved. Everyone seems to be doing really important work, so let's ask uh, our best friend, Reese. Re Dr. Wakefield, can you move this crate, please? Fucking sister. Yeah, I'm working, lad. You do us a favor. I still got to deal with this. I'm in the middle of this. Cheers, fella. Dr. North! Dr. North! I'm sorry, my shoulder's playing up. Do you mind? Classic circle of shout. Everybody's shouting at the one beneath them. Oh, oh my god! Oh god. Dr. North? It's not personal. I knew it! It's the sign of the pathogen. <gasps> We're gonna save you, okay? And she's dead. <laughs> I knew there was something off about Malkin. What kind of a scientist has a fucking ponytail? <laughs> I love them, actually. Ah! Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. You're fine. Oh, oh, oh. Is Claire all right? I'm currently the safest person in this room. Good enough for me. Why are we in lockdown mode? It's detecting the poison from the acid bomb. It won't be in the air for much longer. Thanks for that. Call Natalie Kensington. Emily. Where's Natalie? There's been an incident in the lab. Yeah, I can see that, and the biosecurity's kicked in. I need Natalie on the line right now. I don't care who she's with. Yeah, okay, she's in her office. I'll call you right back. And call. Okay. First things first, let's get this cleaned up. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. We'll be back in a minute, Claire. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> What the fuck? No mistake yet. Well, that needs to come out one way or another. Kensington could have at least left us some of that expensive whiskey. Mm. Ah! It's still a joke. I think. What does the sign say on an out of business brothel? Hey? Eh? Ah! Oh! Oh! Beat it. We're close. Mm. <sighs> I have to clean this wound. No, 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 it'll be fine. We've got bigger fish to fry. So let's check on the status on our current standings with all the people that we have been in contact with. So currently we have four people dead. Uh, the first two victims from the introduction chapter and Dr. North uh, from the hazard bomb just now and Dr. Malkin was killed by um, 
I guess it was Reese just now. So we have yet to unlock uh, another character that we should be interacting with. And that is all for part one of my playthrough of the game. The. What was it just now? Hold on, let me get the CD case. The Complex, yeah. That's the title of the game, The Complex. So if you're interested, you can buy it on stream. Um, they have like the quarantine discount now, so check them out. And I'll see you in part 2. Um, since this is a playthrough, I will try to upload this daily, part by part, to save our data consumption. And if you want to watch more, or if you're interested in knowing the full story, uh, wait for another edition of playthrough from me this game the complex should be by tomorrow stay tuned stay safe stay at home goodbye guys